Good morning, welcome to Phantom 170. I'm going to throw 170, why don't you back up a little more to work together on this one to get this done in under five minutes. Um, we're going to do part of a problem today we did in section 9.5 of Art of Problem Solving's Algebra book. And what we're going to do is we're going to sketch the region bounded by y is greater than minus 3 and 4x plus 3y is less than or equal to 21. Okay, we're going to try to go through this quickly and a little intuitively. Okay, so there's going to be three steps to this. First step, y is greater than minus 3. What does that look like? Well, y is minus, y is minus 3 is about here. Okay. Well, we put in the form y equals mx plus b. All right. And for this, the slope is 0. The slope is 0. And the y-intercept is minus 3. Yep. So we've got a line that looks kind of like that. Okay. Good job. So we got a, a line with slope 0. It just sits here at minus 3. That's what y, y equals minus 3 looks like. And what, what is the region that's y, where y is greater than or equal to minus 3? Well, we need to check some points. Okay. If y is a million and x is 0, so then, up here. Yeah, then it is greater than. So it's going to be this region above. It's going to be the region above the line. That's fine here. Now, why don't you, I'll, I'll draw those arrows in. So we're shading up here, so we're going to be up in here too. Now, 4x Next plus 3y is greater than or equal to 21. 4x plus 3y is greater than or equal to 21. Well, the line is 4x plus 3y equals 21. Yep. And the y intercept is minus 3. And we should get the 4x on this side, so we can get 3y equals minus 4 x plus 21. Okay. And then this means y equals minus 4x over 3 plus 7. Okay, awesome. So how does that help us understand what this line is? The y-intercept is 7. Okay, so let's say that's up here. The slope is negative 4 thirds. The slope is negative 4 thirds. So why don't you just approximately do something where the slope is minus 4 thirds. It's going to be a little bit steeper than 1. Something like that. Okay, so it's gonna have it's gonna intersect down here and then keep going. And now we have to figure out. So this is roughly what this is like. Um, and let's see. So now we have to figure out if we have to shade down or up. Well, okay. so if, if it, x is a million, y is zero. Okay, so we're gonna take if y is zero and x is a million. Then. It's going to be greater than, but we need it to be less than. Okay, so that this point over here makes us this side greater than 21. So let's try this point over here. X is minus a million. X is, is minus less than. a million. Y is zero. Y is zero. It is less than. Okay. So it looks like we're going to be shading down. We're going to be shading down. Okay, so we have this triangulish region. Sort of infinite triangle over here. Now the last question is we've got to figure out where this point of intersection is. How do we do that? Well, y is negative 3. Okay, y is negative 3. So what, what are you going to write down here? So 4x minus 9 is 21. Okay. 4x is 20, it's actually 30. 30, 4x yeah. is 30. And then x is minus 30, is 30. Don't, don't pretend you didn't write the minus sign. 30. 30 over 4, which can be simplified to be what? It's 15 halves. Okay, so what are the coordinates of this point here? If you're going to write the coordinates. 15 halves, 3, minus 3. Okay, great. So 15 halves is about... It's a little bit bigger than 7. A little bit bigger than 7. Now we said this height here was 7. And so, well, so we didn't draw it quite to scale, but at least this is, you know, at least we didn't get like this should be a hundred or like minus twenty or something. So it seems roughly right. So there's our region. So this was part of a problem, part of actually a pretty long problem from this section. And uh, this is good. Good job. Good job graphing these inequalities. All right. Awesome day today.